So last night was a busy night here um, at uh, the Sturgeon building. Uh, Sean and uh, Ben came back after a long drive uh, with a lot of eggs. And um, in fact, uh, what I was told, it was 150,000. And they did go ahead and fertilize the eggs um, and were done with their job um, at short before two o'clock. That shows how dedicated they are. So if you look at the charts, you also see that there is information about the male and the female which was being used. Um, and since also sturgeons are, are being tagged, uh, we know what male and female have been used. And um, we also look at what are the best matches by looking at the DNA structures. So let me go a little bit closer. And here you see how busy it is in those hatching jars. And um, they are supposed to hatch within a very, very short time, um, which is, in fact, this weekend. And let me go over to Sean, because he took already some of the fertilized eggs out of the hatching jars. And what he's doing, he is looking for the healthy ones, uh, for the alive ones, which is kind of a tedious process, as you can see. Um, this, uh, sometimes it happens, uh, you know, that uh, a female doesn't have very, very good eggs or also that uh, the milk uh, from a male is not very good. So we have to help nature a little bit to make sure that we do have a successful process. But the aim is uh, that out of those 150,000 fertilized eggs, we can release about 5,000 pellet sturgeons into the wild. So more to come, bye bye.